In this tutorial we're going to produce an image of a laser beam firing through a glass bead. When you open up 3ds Max you'll see a window very like this one. First thing we would need to do is to focus on the perspective screen and use that for the tutorial this time around. On the main window here you will see there is the perspective screen that I'm hovering over at the moment and there are also three orthographic screens, a front, a top and a left view. In order to focus our attention on the perspective screen, first of all click in the perspective screen so that the orange border is around that screen and hold down the ALT key on your keyboard while you press W. This will put the attention onto the perspective screen. Once we've done that, we're going to create a sphere in the middle of that screen. To create objects in 3ds Max, we use the Create menu on the right hand side of your screen. The icon to create is the little orange icon that I'm hovering over at the moment. Click on that and then ensure that you also have clicked on the geometry icon so that we can create some geometric objects. Once you've done that, you should see the object type menu below there. We're going to create a sphere, so click on a sphere box and then use click and drag to create a sphere in the centre or near the centre of our grid there in the perspective window. Once we've done that, let's centre that a little bit. So we will use the select and move function. Up on the top of the screen, you'll see uh, the arrow icon there, which is our select and move icon. So left click on that and the controllers will appear that allow us to move the sphere around the screen. We'll just centre that on the grid. The easiest way to do that is at the bottom where the X, Y and Z coordinates for our sphere are shown. Right click with your mouse on the scrollers for X to center it in the X plane and Y to center it in the Y plane. Now we'll just drag that sphere so it sits above that grid instead of in the middle of it. So left click on the blue Z axis controller and just drag the sphere up so that it's sitting just above the grid. Having created our sphere, we now need to create some illumination for our scene by putting a few lights in. We're going to produce two lights. One, our little omnidirectional light just for general illumination and the other light will become our laser beam. To create lights, we need first of all to select the Create menu on the right hand side and then under that click on the lights icon. Once we've done that you should see the lights object type appear below. The default is usually photometric lights we're just going to use a standard lighting so next to photometric click on the down arrow to open up the light type menu and select standard. This will give us our standard lighting options. Now the first light we put in will be our little Omni light. So select Omni and then click on the perspective window to position an Omni light in our scene. With that still selected, click on the select and move icon on the toolbar at the top of the screen so that our arrows will appear to be allow us to move that light around and then we'll just drag our light about and position it by clicking on the arrows and get that into a suitable position to light up our scene a little bit higher perhaps just arrange so that it looks pretty much like that now we would just like to change the parameters on that light because it's a little bit intense at the moment and it's a bit too bright. So let's change that and make it a little bit less bright. On the right hand side of your panel, next to the create icon, you will see a little blue icon called modify. Click on that and the modify panel will open up. This will provide you with a whole range of menus 
to allow you to modify the parameters of that Omni light that we have still selected. Usually when it appears, it will look pretty much like this, with our general parameters open and then a whole bunch of other menus here which we can open as we need them. You can scroll through these menus using the little scroll bar there, which is a little bit hard to see. So just take note of that and you just click and drag to scroll through your menus. Now the menu that we would like to use is in fact the intensity menu. So click on general parameters to close that if it's open and click on the intensity color attenuation menu to open that up and you'll see the parameters appear here. At the moment the multiplier which gives the brightness of the light is set to 1. So we will just click the 1.0 there and type in 0.5 and press return and you'll see that the light should become dimmer. So that's got that light set up now. Okay now once we've created that first light we need to create the second light which is going to become the laser beam. So let's do that now. Click on the create icon and ensure you have lights selected and ensure you have standard lights selected. Now we're going to use a target direct light in order to produce the laser beam effect. So click on target direct and then we will just need to click and drag to place the light in our scene. So put your cursor across to the left here, click and drag so that the light is positioned about like that. Now you'll notice that there are two components in the target direct light. There's the light source here and there's also the target which allows us to position the light very accurately and to direct it in a particular direction. Once that light's in place we just need to position it so that it's directed straight through the centre of our sphere. The easiest way to do this is to click on the select and move icon and then over on the left, top left of our perspective window you'll see the words plus, perspective and realistic or something similar displayed. Now let's change this so that we can actually see a front and top view. So click on the word perspective and a menu will appear and change that to the front view and you will see uh, an orthographic view appear. We can now position that light using the select and move icon so that its beam is directed straight through the, um, the middle of the sphere. So drag the light into the correct position and then click on the target and then drag that up so that it's about right. Perhaps just move that down slightly so I've got it lined up. So that's got that set up in that direction. Now click on front and select top. And once again, move our light so that it fires through the center of our sphere. Now we'll return to the perspective window. and then get back into the view that we had to begin with. To do that, over on the right here you'll see a controller to control your view. Just to the top left of that there's a little house icon. If you click on that it will just return you to the home view which is the one that we started with. And now you can see our light shining directly through the centre of the sphere that we've created. Now we need to change that light beam into something resembling a laser beam. So left click on the light source and ensure that you have modify selected and you should see something like this. Now the first thing we need to do is to minimize the general parameters and open up the intensity parameters. You'll see that the multiplier is still set to 0.5. Highlight that, change that to 10 press return. Next to that there's a white panel used for selecting colour so we'll select a red colour for this light 
click on that panel and you'll see the usual color selection panel appear just click around there um, until we have a nice intense red color selected for our light click OK now the directional parameters open up the directional parameters menu and you'll see that the hotspot beam is set to about a thousand millimeters if you right click on the little down arrow next to that setting it will automatically set that to, to the minimum amount so right click and then right click on the fall off field as well and we now have converted our light beam into a thin pencil beam of red light